I'm Jennifer and this is Kate and today we have three really short really great go-to prayers that we have been loving here lately and we want to share them with you. <laughs> they have been very helpful but they are extremely extremely <laughs> short. Each one of them is like 10 words or less. One is an old favorite and two are new to us. So let's go ahead and take a look. So the first one is the old standby. I first heard it in a Catholic Lighthouse media talk and the speaker said that the best way for families to pray for each other, especially for their children during difficult times, is to say, come Holy Spirit, transform us with your grace. So that is only like eight words, but it is super powerful. Just think of the apostles and how they were transformed by the grace of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. Instead of being fearful and hiding out, they had the courage to go and change the world. So I say this prayer on nearly a daily basis here. I have found it so helpful, especially in raising teenagers. I think it just cuts right to the heart of the matter, which is that we all need to be transformed by the grace of God. Come Holy Spirit, transform us with your grace. Our second prayer is one that is new to us and it comes from one of our Catholic books of the month. Uh, this one, Sanctify Your Soul by Father Leo Treese. And it is this, please God, tell me again how much you love me. So in the book, Father Tree says that we can learn to love God more by letting him first love us. That can really transform our relationship with him. But a lot of times we're just too busy for that. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of times we get so caught up in life that we're not quiet long enough to hear God's voice. So this prayer reminds us to slow down and really listen to what God is saying. Right, because let's think about it. If you are asking God to tell you how much he loves you, then you want him to answer, right? So you're going to be quiet and try to hear what he has to say. <laughs> And it's also great because sometimes you just need to feel the love of God surrounding you. Sometimes that is all that gets you through the day. So this is a great prayer to say during adoration, but it's also a great prayer to say anytime that you're feeling stressed or anxious. Please God, tell me again how much you love me. And our third prayer is one that we found recently in the Magnificat, maybe. Okay. Um, and it is, Lord, help me feel the effects of your mercy. Maybe the Magnificat, maybe it was Pope Paul VI in this book. I'm not sure. I wrote it down recently. I read it somewhere and I've been telling everyone about it because we all know that God is merciful, right? But what does his mercy really feel like? So we're not theologians, obviously, but it seems to us that when we feel the effects of God's mercy, we feel much calmer and much more joyful and much more hopeful. And who doesn't want that? So again, I understand that God is merciful. What does that really feel like? I find that this prayer is really helping me ponder more deeply what the effects of God's mercy truly are. Lord, help me feel the effects of your mercy. All right, so those are three prayers we have added to our list of short favorite prayers, along with Jesus, I trust in you from the Divine Mercy Chaplet. And also Jesus, take care of everything from the Surrender Prayer by Don DeLindo. So let us know in the comments if you have a favorite short prayer because we would love to add more to this list. So we hope the video was helpful for you today. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.